What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be giving you a guide on the best early equipment, stat, and skills for a Taekwon class. But before we start the video, do you have problems AFK grinding in ROX? Do you always worry that you may overcharge or the battery of your phone, tablet, or laptop may overheat? Do you worry about your electricity bill when grinding using your personal computer that is running for days non-stop? Or do you encounter intermittent connection from your internet service provider, which disconnects your character when AFK grinding? Well, if that is the case, then UG Phone can solve all of your problems. UG Phone is a cloud phone that runs independently in the cloud and it does not consume the memory or battery of your physical device. Even if you close the UG Phone app, your game will still continue to run in the cloud which makes this the perfect phone for AFK grinding for 24 hours, 7 days a week non-stop. Nice. You can also run multiple instances of UG Phone in one account, which allows you to play and grind multiple games simultaneously. As you can see, my Shura and Royal Guard are AFK grinding at the same time. UG Phone is available in Google Play for Android, App Store for iOS, Windows Store for PC, and you can also use a web browser to run UG Phone. So if you want to try out UG Phone, you can use my link shown in the description below. And you can also use my invitation code which really helps me out. So thank you guys and thank you UG Phone for the sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. The reason why I created this video is because I've seen a lot of questions from Taekwon players in the new server. And yes, you heard it right, I created a new character in the new server. But that will be a discussion for another day. So what are the most common questions that I've seen from Taekwon players? Let's talk about these questions one by one. The first one is the equipment. Now this is quite subjective and is really leaning towards the player's capability to progress. What do I mean by that? If you're a spender in the game, then of course, your equipment of choice will be the gold equipment. However, if you are an F2P player, then the ideal weapon for you at this stage of the game is a white or a blue equipment. For starters, the best equipment in the early game are the white equipment that you can get from the Golden Thief Bug and Corsair Cabin instances. These are the most basic equipments that you can use while starting off. If you are going to ask me, in the early game, the best white equipment for the Type 1 is the equipment from the Corsair Cabin because of its set effect. However, in terms of the accessories and talisman, I would rather use the Autumn Talisman and Ring of Exorcism from the Golden Thief Bug instance because it provides haste. Remember, in the early game, characters have very low stats and upgrades, which is why using high-level skills have a very long cooldown. Now, if you want to use a blue equipment, that will also be dependent on you since both the white and blue equipments are viable at this stage of the game. The main difference between a white and a blue equipment is that the blue equipment provides higher stats. However, blue equipment is quite expensive to craft especially in a new server. And it is also more expensive to refine. In terms of set effects, the white equipment has more flexibility in that area. What do I mean by that? Each level of white equipment has different set effects. Let's use the GTB equipments and Corsair Cabin equipments as an example. The GTB equipments have a reflect damage set effect, while the Corsair Cabin provides additional damage set effect. Now for the blue equipments, they only have one set of effect regardless if these are level 30 or level 120 blue equipments. These set effects are the Ferocity, Payback, and Giant's Bane. The most commonly used set effect with the blue equipment is the Ferocity set effect which adds final damage bonus. However, if you want to do boss hunts, then you might want to consider the Giant's Bane set effect because it adds additional damage to MVP, mini, and boss monsters. Now, going back to the white equipment, the reason why it is better to use white accessories in the early stages of the game is because of the haste stat. 
Remember, a Taekwon relies heavily on their skills. So your main goal should be to lower down the variable cooldown in order to spam these skills. Some people might say, go for the blue accessories immediately. However, that would not be a good idea. What? Because the blue accessories will only provide main stats to your character. So even if you have high strength, if your skills have a very long cooldown, you won't be able to deal high DPS. At the same time, most leveling areas in the new server are crowded with players. So your main goal is to eliminate the monsters as fast as possible. You can change to the blue accessories in the future when you have higher levels of upgrades and refinement in order to compensate for the lost haste. Now that we've covered the equipment in the early game, let's talk about the skills that you should use. In my previous Taekwon video, I've shown you the skills that a Taekwon can use and how you can connect these skills as a combo. However, in these early stages of the game, you don't necessarily have to use all those skills. Wait a minute! In my opinion, this is the most efficient skill that you can use in AFK grinding. The round kick is an AoE skill that can damage multiple opponents in one hit. At the same time, it also recovers your HP. So if you can one-hit monsters with the round kick, then that is the best skill that you can use while AFK grinding. If you need additional damage to wipe out the monsters in one spot, then you can unlock the Whirlwind Kick and the Ultimate Whirlwind Kick. On the other hand, if you want to go on MVP and Mini Hunts, then the best skill combination to use are the following. I tested several kick combinations for the Taekwon and Star Gladiator class. Now the reason why I only tested these two jobs is because in the new server, most players are still at this level. I noticed that the skill placement is crucial for this class. Here is an example. The first three skill slots are the damage skills, and at the fourth skill slot is the union of the star skill. If I click on auto, I can only trigger the first three skills and I am unable to trigger the union of the stars. As you can see, in one minute, I wasn't able to trigger one ultimate skill because the union of the stars was not being triggered even though I already have 3 stacks of stars. This made my DPS low at 6k. However, when I put the union of the stars at the first skill slot, here's what happened.
as you can see, my DPS doubled from 6k to 12k, and I was able to trigger one of the ultimate skills. So again, skill placement is quite crucial for this class. The ultimate skill that I was able to trigger was the skill in the second slot. I wasn't able to trigger the ultimate skill of the third or fourth skill slot. So if you want to use the ultimate skill for the shattering kick, put that skill in the second skill slot. Based on my testing, the ultimate axe kick deals the highest amount of DPS out of the three ultimate skills. Give this skill combination a try if you want to increase your DPS. Now that we've talked about the equipment and skills, I want to address one of the most asked questions in the new server. For those who top topped in the game and doesn't know what card to take in the Juno selection pack, the best card that I can recommend is an elemental enhancement card because you can use that card up until the end game. I think the best elemental enhancement card for a type 1 is the neutral element. Or, if you're going to use a Desert Wolf pet in the future, then the Fire Element is much better. Another commonly asked question is, can a Taekwon use attack speed cards? If you read the Taekwondo skill, a Taekwon has a constant attack speed, meaning regardless if you use buffs or attack speed cards, that will no longer change. So again, do not use attack speed cards on a Taekwon. Oh and by the way, in my previous Taekwon video, I wasn't able to trigger the Anger of the Star skill. The reason for this is again, going back to the skill placement. I placed the Anger of the Star skill in the 4th skill slot behind the damage skills, which is why I wasn't able to trigger it. So here, if you put the Anger of the Star skills in the 1st skill slot, it will then be triggered. And that's it for today's video. If you have more questions about the Taekwon class, write it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more ROX content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. GG! You're a superhero.